Hi, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to Sit In It For A Bit with Arna and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts. Arna and Carlos. And we are on holiday right now, therefore we are not podcasting. However, we are showing reruns of some of our favorite episodes uh, with new commentary. <laughs> now, uh, the reruns that we've been showing on Sundays are our favorite episodes. We decided that the reruns on Wednesdays would be our most popular, so our top four episodes. And what's number one? Well, not we're not uh, putting them in, uh, oh, in ranks. I thought you meant we start on number one and work our way down. No, 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 no. We can't do that. We're doing four <laughs> of the most popular episodes. Four of the most popular. Okay. Today, well, actually, yeah. Today we can do number one, the yeah, most let's do popular number episode. One. Do you know what that is? No. Let me guess. Something with socks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or the easiest sock in the world. Correct. <laughs> How to knit the easiest sock in the world is our most seen uh, video so far. It has uh, 348,000 views, and we're hoping you guys can help us bring it up to 350,000 <laughs> views, and then some. That would be a lot of fun. Um, do you know why I think this one is our most popular? Because it's easy. Well, yeah, exactly. We kind of came <laughs> up with a perfect title, How to Knit the Easiest Sock in the World. Who's not going to want to watch that video? And it is the easiest sock in the world, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of the easiest, actually, because everything is easy when you know how to do it. Mm. But this is uh, very easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, we're sure you're going to enjoy this episode. Uh, it's got lots of uh, useful tips as well. Yeah. And when we finished doing this uh, and people enjoyed it, there were also a lot of comments about the afterthought heel, because it is a sock with an afterthought heel. And so we decided to do an episode called How to Knit the Heel of the Easiest Sock in the World. That is also one of our most popular okay. episodes, <laughs> but it didn't make it to top four. Oh. It didn't make it to top four, but it is way up there anyway. I thought we did the heel on the first one, but maybe we didn't. We explained it. We explained it, but we the, didn't do it. No, we did that oh. on, the, on the How to Knit the Easiest, the Heel of the Easiest Sock. You see sock. how clever that is? Mm. You make two episodes out of one sock. Yeah, exactly. That's two in one. And usually what happens is if you watch the How to Make the Easiest Sock in the World, they will recommend you to watch, YouTube recommends you to watch the... Uh, Second easiest yeah, sock. No, the, the easiest heel. Or the easiest heel. Yeah, so it's cool. Right? They know everything. <laughs> they, everything That's they know. That's scary. Yeah. Mm. Remember a few days ago you came up with some, what you call that? You were bragging about a friend's car. No, I wasn't car. bragging about a friend's no, car. No, you were admiring, admiring a friend's car. And yeah, then and you went into Instagram, and the first thing you see is a commercial for that car. Yeah. That was scary. Especially when I didn't even uh, type it in. I was just talking to him and admiring his yeah. car. So if you look at your phone now, you will have commercials for sock yarn. Probably. It's, uh, that, That's yeah, how it yeah. works. Yeah, artificial intelligence, you yeah. know. It's... Uh, <laughs> Scary. <laughs> scary. Anyway, uh, we're going to be digging in the dirt. Uh, we've got a kitchen garden to uh, take care of. Uh, and I can see the plant over there. Uh, Needs water? No, it doesn't. It looks really good. I just wanted to comment how good that plant looks. I think it looks good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But the other plants over there do need some watering. So <laughs> we'll get back to our garden chores. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Oops. A motorcycle just passed. And did you see yesterday, there was like a group of vintage cars. Yeah, yeah, very nice. They make a lot of noise, those vintage cars. They do. But I enjoy looking at them. Yeah. I don't, wor I don't worry mm. about that. No, no, no. problems. More, yeah. Give me more cars. Yeah, Arne loves cars. <laughs> so do I. Anyway, enjoy the, <laughs> I don't know what socks have to do with cars. I don't know. So look, here's the easiest sock in the world. Enjoy. enjoy. And we'll <laughs> see you next week for a new Sit In It for a bit. Bye. Bye. Hi, uh, today it's all about the socks. You, as you know, we have all these different colorful yarns uh, for socks. And we're gonna talk about knitting the heel because there are many, many different ways to do the heel. And we wanna show you our ways. Uh, Arne is a really good heel knitter, so he's gonna be telling you about that. <laughs> uh, he's knitting from the toe up, by the way. I'm doing the opposite, so anyway. So, I cast on 16 stitches on 
four needles. And that's needle number 2.5, which is a good one for this yarn. And that's a great start because uh, then you're just going to be knitting and shaping uh, the sock after your foot or the foot of the person that you are knitting for. You don't really need a pattern this time. Uh, you can actually just do it kind of like your own way. So, start on the toe with 16 stitches and then we knit one round with no increasing. One more needle. I think Oops. I'm going to finish faster than you today. <laughs> Watch me. 16 stitches. Then we start knitting. The good thing by knitting from the toe is that you can increase on each needle as many times as you want to get your own size. And for for us, 16 stitches on each needle is a good size. Yeah, it's going to be a size 42. I think that's a size 8 in American. The metal needles is a little bit slippery. So if you find it difficult with the metal, you can use the bamboo or the wood. The good thing about the metal needles is that you get a really nice tension because you can knit it quite tightly if you like that. So now I've done the first round with the 16 stitches. It looks like this when you start and then you increase on this side and on this side. So it will look like, like this one. So you see on this one, it goes out on the sides. And then you just knit until you have the right size. So increase one and it's over to the other side. So now Arne has uh, knitted all the way until uh, more or less where the heel is going to start, so to the ankle, kind of. And uh, what do you do then? Then I knit the two, these two needles, which is under the foot. Don't put it on the side, then it will be a very strange sock. So be careful to put it on, where the, like on the flat side. So this is like under. Mm -hmm. I will put another color on, on these two needles and that's where the, the heel is coming. So I just knit with this, this red one and I leave the other yarn where it is. Then I knit the two needles. So on, the, on this sock it's uh, 32 stitches. over to the other side. And I just take this off and you see you have the this red line which indicates the heel. And now I just continue to knit around all the way up to the, the hem. So you can knit as long as you want, as long as you want. Or you can make the sock as long as you want. When I start with 16 stitches, it's actually very good because then you can make the, um, the what do you call it, the cuff? No. The hem, that's the, hem, the word you the were hem. after. 
So the, the number you cast on when you start has to match the hem you want. If you want two knit and one pearl or two knit and two pearl. So it should be either even or odd depending yeah. on the... Uh... On the number. Yeah. And I will show you on the other sock because this will take forever. I just finished this one so you can see how it looks. So now, now you see how it looks. So now this is this is the the heel. Looking good. Yes. And now, when you done a little bit more, and you you make then you make the heel, and then you have to sew the yarn that you kept like this. Because there will always be some holes in the corners when you start to do your heel. And the, 60, the, the 32 stitches that you made in red, these stitches you will pick up with new needles and from those you make the heel easy. <laughs> Let me show you on this one. I made a heel in, in, uh, gr in green. Is that like solid color? That's, That's a cool. solid color. With, yeah. no, with no pattern. You can use the, the same yarn, but I use green. I guess with the, the green, it will be easier to show you today. Yeah. So and now you see, this is where the, the red yarn were. And then I took the red yarn out and I picked up stitches and I made the heel looking like this with decreasing on every second round. So it makes a very sharp heel, looking a little bit strange. But when you start to use your sock, this will be round. So this is actually a very easy heel. Probably the easiest one of them all. I, I knit a little bit. You can stop the video. <laughs> <laughs>